After the huge success of Street Fighter 2 The World Warrior in arcades in 1991, the game would pretty much function as the blueprint for all fighting games to come. From a large crazy roster, depthy movesets, large character sprites and player versus player action, the title set all kinds of precedents. While many future fighting games would build on this and define their own paths, some games were more Street Fighter 2 like than others. After the release of Data East's Fighters History for example, Capcom would deem that such a game had so many similarities to Capcom's classic that they would try to sue their arcade competition for allegedly infringing on their property. Fortunately, the court saw through this litigious nonsense and ruled in Data East's favour, concluding that the elements that were copied were scenes of fair, deeming them a fair game for use when depicting fighting game scenarios. This meant we would continue to get Street Fighter 2 like fighting games for years to come, including more of ADK's World Heroes series, a franchise with striking parallels to Capcom's most important fighting game property. While we could easily talk about the congruity between these all day, today we are going to focus in on the parity between just two characters, Street Fighter 2's final boss M. Bison and World Heroes Brocken. A fighter who, although looking similar to everyone's favourite dictator, would feature one change that was so controversial that it would be censored completely from certain regions. So holding these thoughts in mind, hello ladies and gentlemen, Big Daddy Top Hat here. It's time we take a deep dive look at this ridiculous character and see what all the fuss is all about. Yeah! To be able to fully understand today's Tao, we first need to fully understand World Heroes and where the game came from. Way back in 1980, a Japanese audio and telecommunications company known as Alpha Denshi would try their hand within the video game market. This would see them release two arcade games, Tekken Shogi, a chess game and Dora-chan, a title that would not be on the market for long due to its unlicensed inclusion of the Doraemon character from the popular Japanese manga. Moving forward, the development house would produce Mahjong games and create their own Pac-Man inspired maze game, before slowly progressing on to producing a number of sports titles. As the company's reputation solidified, they would eventually form a relationship with SNK, leading to them creating arcade games exclusively for SNK hardware. In fact, the pairing would end up so close that Alpha would end up contributing much of the hardware design for what would become the Neo Geo MVS. SNK's arcade units which introduced interchangeable cartridges. Alpha games would be among the Neo Geo launch lineup, such as Ninja Combat and Magician Lord. Just a couple of years into the existence of the MVS, the entire arcade landscape would change with the arrival of Capcom Street Fighter 2. The game would popularise the fighting game genre and lead to many imitators. Alpha Denshi, who were in bed with SNK for the long haul, would rebadge their company as ADK, with the first World Heroes game being the last to be produced under the Alpha Denshi banner. World Heroes would become one of many fighting games available for Neo Geo hardware that would channel the spirit of Street Fighter 2. However, World Heroes is more Street Fighter-like than even any of the Neo Geo's first party fighters. Now, I may very well go into these parallels in a future upload, but for now, let's focus on who, on the surface, looks like the most shameless Street Fighter 2 character ripoff of them all, the combatant known as Brocken. All you have to do is bloody look at this individual to see how similar he is to that of M. Bison, with both characters opting to fight in full military general style uniforms paired with black boots and intimidating visor caps. While the M. Bison influence in design is blatantly obvious, away from the world of fighting games characters that dress exactly like this were already common throughout Japanese media. M. Bison himself for example is said to be inspired by a character from the Ricky O manga known as Washizaki, a general and main villain from the franchise. And if we want to expand on such a trope further, we only need to look at Yasinori Kato, the primary baddie in the fantasy movie known as Tokyo The Last Megalopolis. I guess the only thing particularly cheeky about Brocken is the fact that he was included within a fighting game, released just after Street Fighter 2, which looks and plays in many ways like the classic. But I guess an argument could also be made that ADK were paying homage to such a character 
So I guess this now raises the question, who exactly is Brocken? And what is this fighter's background that separates him from Capcom's favourite dictator? Well, there is one key character development feature that is actually so different about Brocken that this piece of information deserves a drum roll before being revealed. So with that said, Brocken is different because... He is a robot Nazi! That's right, this M-Bison looking fellow who fights with built-in weapons was created for the Nazi army. After the Germans were defeated in World War II, Brocken would begin travelling the world on a quest to prove to everyone that the power of science is the greatest of them all. With arms that extend in combat, Inspector Gadget style, and fierce suplexes to unleash, Brocken is a dangerous threat for any opponent. Despite his aesthetic similarities with M. Bison, it is said that Brocken was actually inspired by another manga character named Brocken Jr. Brocken Jr. was created for a franchise known as Kinecuman, a pro wrestler superhero comedy that exists in both anime and manga form. You will notice that this character also dresses like the others we have mentioned today and seems to have been named after a location called the Brocken, a peak that can be found in Germany. A further military German cyborg can also be found in Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. This character, known as Rudolf von Stroheim, is also a massive praiser of German science. Brocken in World Heroes is said to be extremely cold-hearted and severely lacking in emotion, although due to programming errors, he does experience rare blips of feelings from time to time. Brocken is a proud warrior who is confident in his abilities, proud of his heritage and the technology that he has been built from. During confrontations, Brocken leverages his robotic physiology to his advantage, utilising a lethal combination of both superhuman level strength and superhuman levels of endurance. To make this Nazi foe all the more intimidating, being a robot he doesn't need food, sleep nor water to sustain his energy levels but does need regular doses of Castrol to stay at full strength. Along with his extendable limbs, which we mentioned earlier, Brocken has further built-in weaponry, including a taser-like device, jet boots and rocket launchers. He is like a one-man German army. Brocken would appear in all four World Heroes games, even at points being able to unleash electrical-like energy from his fists, which at points certainly looks similar to M. Bison utilising his psycho powers. Like in Street Fighter 2, in World Heroes games, characters have wing quotes, with Brocken often bragging after victory that his opponents ought to be proud that they had the chance to fight against Germany's top most top secret. In later entries of World Heroes, when Brocken feels his hero meter in combat, he can perform an action to achieve victory, which is reminiscent of self-destructing. This of course leads to more bragging, stating things like, hey, it's the best, what did you expect from German science? As for the overarching story of the World Heroes games, the general premise is that the tower revolves around a scientist called Doc Brown, a man who has invented a time machine. Hmm, I wonder where they could have got this idea from. Anyway, using his time machine, the Doctor makes the obvious choice of using his technology to organise the greatest fighting tournament ever hosted, allowing for combatants to compete from many different eras. After the world heroes assemble, the fighters do battle. It is of note while some are based on actual historical figures, some are fictitious such as Brocken, whom we are focusing on today. Like the majority of Neo Geo fighting games, World Heroes would become available to play on other formats, including the Super Nintendo, with most versions of the game leaving Brocken's image completely intact. If you play the PAL version of the game for the Super Nintendo though, you will notice that Brocken's character design has been drastically, drastically altered, to the point whereby he doesn't even look like the same fighter. In fact, his resemblance to M. Bison disappears too, as his military uniform has been completely removed, and replaced with a padded brown jumpsuit. In fact, his rimmed hat has been taken out of the game, revealing spiky blonde hair underneath. Now, when we consider that these changes have only been made to the European versions of World Heroes, it quickly becomes apparent why. Basically, after the horrors that occurred in World War II, strong censorship laws were put in place in Germany. 
These came into effect almost immediately after West Germany became occupied by Allied forces. Essentially, all German media would be subjected to heavy censorship, and people would face prosecution for spreading poisonous material. Through this purge, in all around 30,000 different book titles were confiscated, and every copy was to be destroyed. Allies would have to admit that this was essentially the same practice as the previous Nazi party's book burning, but this was seen as a necessity in the country's denazification process. One of the main priorities of all this censorship was to protect young people from radicalisation, so those under the age of 18 would not be exposed to content considered immoral, dangerous or inappropriate. Censorship would end up going far with the likes of tapes, films, books, magazines and music all being restricted and added to the list of youth endangering writings, should they showcase content that was deemed improper. Officials would even take it upon themselves to shield younger West Germans from seeing anything that they considered to feature expletives, sexual interaction, excessive affection, war or substance use. Laws were also amended to prohibit propaganda material and symbols of forbidden parties and other organisations. This of course explicitly includes material in the tradition of a former National Socialist organisation. Public displays of such symbols result in legal consequences, which vary from fines to prison terms of up to three years. While today it is legal to use such symbols for educational or artistic purposes, it is not surprising whatsoever that the likes of ADK would not want to take any risks with the representation of the Brocken character. So for this reason, all signs indicate that Brocken's Nazi-like appearance was removed from the Super Nintendo game to ensure that the company wouldn't break any post-World War II German censorship laws. I think past this as well, a further issue is throughout the game, if you watch Brocken's ending scenes, the character is presented as somewhat affable. So displaying a character dressed like a Nazi as being in any way a sort of lovable good guy, this certainly doesn't fly anywhere in Europe, thus providing double the reasoning that he needed censoring. All in all, while this character clearly has a lot of similarities with M. Bison, there is no denying that he has a unique fighting game background, distinct from Capcom's dictator in his own right. Or in this case, should I say, Reich. I bet you did not see that joke coming. <laughs> Get out. Get out. I mean it. Anyway, if you enjoyed this one, why not check out my upload covering the history of Street Fighter 2's four Grandmasters, and Bison included. Yeah.